Hi everybody, hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to do my wardrobe tour. I'm mainly going to focus on brands rather than like, oh this was from Miss Selfridge, this was from Primark, because otherwise I'll be here all day. I'm going to start with my Lolita dresses because I had to get them out of my brother's wardrobe. These are in my brother's wardrobe because I've run out of space in here. First up is my Bodyline princess dress. It's like so princessy and it's beautiful. Like you'd never think it was by Bodyline. Look at it. And it's got lace details here, shearing along the back, and it's also got this really nice chiffon material at the bottom. And I don't know if you can see. This is my first and only angelic pretty jsk i don't know the name of it i'm really sorry but it's got this cool little detail in the middle so it's got a little cut out with a gem inside and it shows off a little bit of the cleavage it's like oh hello and the back has adjustable straps shearing it also has detachable waist ties but i've got a lot of feelings about waist ties i've got this skirt here this is by angelic pretty it's got a little bow detail there and it's got like little daisies and flowers in and along the bottom the lace has got all roses in i really love it i never thought i would buy anything from powder rose uh again i don't know the name sorry i don't wear a lot of red so I bought this to add some red into my wardrobe because I think red is a really nice colour. It's just when you're into pastels, it's really hard to incorporate red into your outfit. But I think red and white is really, really nice together. It's got a crown detail there and this little bow is detachable. It, like There's a bit of discolouring on the bottom here, but I'm not too fussy because I paid 20 quid for this skirt. Uh, again, detachable waist ties, but girl bye. I love the JSK. If I could fit into the JSK girl, I would not hesitate to buy it, but it's too long. So, and I mean the skirt is just as beautiful. There's the print. And it, it's got little gummy bears or gummy rabbits on them. So it's like full of sweets, but it's um, a chandelier print. And I love this pack. I, I love the layering and it's got shearing here, which is awesome. Detachable waist ties again. And I just really like the details and I love the little pearls hanging from here. It's just all those extra details that make it really pretty. Uh, this next dress I got second hand from Hyper Japan. This is my Rococo dress with pretty French ladies on it. It's really thin and light and summery and I would wear it without a blouse. I don't really wear blouses under lolly dresses, TBH. I like to air the armpits, do you know what I mean? I know there's certain rules, but I don't class myself as a lolita, but I can wear it how I like. I bought it, so yeah. This one is from Bodyline as well. Um, it's actually pure white, but I decorated it because I wanted some lavender in there. It was for Hyper Japan. As it was just pure white, I found it quite boring, so I wanted to decorate it. It's got shearing along the back, adjustable straps. Yeah. Next is Bodyline again. I've already shown this one in a previous video. Um, it hasn't got a name, but everyone calls it Love Jewelry. And it's a Le Parfait replica. Those details are really nice. Like got roses in the waist ties aren't detachable and on, on bodyline dresses and it really irritates me i'm like i don't want this another bodyline dress i actually bought this because i saw a dress like this um from le parfait and i was like girl i found one that's like really similar bodyline This is my black velvet dress. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a bow here and a little pearl detail with a cupid. These are detachable! I was so happy! But it's really nice. It cost me £6. 
It's from the kids section, but it is so tight across the boobs. I mean, I don't have much going on up here, but I can just about breathe in it. This one's hard to make look nice because it's a halter neck, so obviously the way it's laying on my hanger. Um, but it's a cream dress from Bodyline, and it has some random opening here. I don't know why, because it's got another layer underneath. Um, but it's got this really nice heart design along the bottom. Uh, and it's got shearing as well. It also comes with a detachable like flower that goes here. I've taken it off. Then I have this dress. See that cream, that cream bow? The really long one? That goes on there. This is my eternal rose bouquet skirt. I absolutely love this print. I was so happy that I found it. You know, I love the little details here. And it's just such a gorgeous print. And again, it has that lovely layering effect like my uh, Sweetie Chandelier skirt. Got the Angelic Pretty Vanilla Chan skirt. I've already shown this in the previous video, so. And I've got this one with uh, makeup and pretty things all over it. Again, really thin and nice and light for the summer. This is my Listen flavour skirt. Um, I actually would love to own the 6% Doki Doki one because it's a lot more pastel. It's like a rainbow skirt. This is actually a replica. The Pera Pera Sparkles print. This is my Liz Lisa, I don't know the name of the dress, but it's got bows and flowers on it. And it's got corset lacing at the front, shearing in the back, business in the front, party at the back. It's not really a party, is it? Don't know what I'm chatting. It was £30 on eBay, but I could not pass on it. This is my Swan Kiss Poodle dress. It's very pretty. It's really hard to figure out like which way is the right way. It looks very similar, but this is the front way. This is a replica of Mars. This is my Coco Kim Poison Candy skirt. And it's got like perfume bottles on it. And candies and lollipops. And I really like the material of this, it's really thick. Sorry, I was running out of hangers, <laughs> hence why I put it on the same hanger. But this is my Mars skirt. This is a real one. This is a replica, unfortunately. I would love to own the real one, but the only reason I bought a replica was so that I could have it made in my size. And they just sent me a standard small. So I was like, oh. So I had to pay for this to be made, to then get it adjusted at the dry cleaners and then get it adjusted again because I was still not happy with it. As you can see it's quite short, I had a lot, I had about 8 inches taken off of it. But I absolutely love this print and I I needed it in my life and I wasn't going to spend like £200 on the real thing to then get it altered. Carrying on with the theme of perfume bottle prints. I've got this dress by Liz Lisa. Not too keen on the sleeves or the collar because it's like a shirt. I don't like really like shirts, but. This is another replica. I've got the matching top as well. And it's got the detachable bow and it's <laughs> another perfume bottle print. I just love perfume bottles, okay? This is another replica. I just find it so hard to find the real, the real deal. And then when I do find it, it's like, £100, please. This is my mermaid dress. To Alice is a store on Taobao. The only annoying thing with this dress is because it's got beaded um, straps. They're actually too long for me and the only way I could actually get it to fit me was to cross them over. You can remove the straps because you know for when you're washing them. And it's got a really nice seashell print on it and it's got this layer of lavender tulle. 
and here's the lace, like little starfish on them. I think they're starfish. Oh no, they're little seashells. This is my Glaville or Tutu Ha, whatever it's called now, um, replica skull dress. I got it for a tenner. Oh! Um, and it's got a little star on the boobies. And yeah, I got the white version, and I also have the um, bat wing belt by Glaville. You wear that around there, basically. This is my Princess Melody replica. I've also shown this in another video as well. It's really wide. It needs like a belt around it. I've also shown this before. This is my La Parfait baby doll. It's got adjustable straps. You can remove the straps as well, so you can have it as a strapless dress. I also got this Mars dress. This one is real. Um, I found it on eBay second hand. And it's the ice cream and macaroon print. It's really nice. And it's a perfect fit and it's nice and short and it's nice and fitted and yeah. I've also got the Roxy Sweetheart Dreamy Dollhouse Skater Dress. 